All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Aquila Laser Rifle mod, which is being made by user Ramhat. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an amazing new sci-fi rifle into the Commonwealth of the Aquila. And this thing is pretty darn impressive with a whole host of interesting modifications. So let's take a look at what you do get with this gun. And in its standard form, you get this, the scoped LR-34 Aquila Rifle. And it is a beautiful looking gun. Definitely, definitely sci-fi, as the mod description says. And it is beautifully modeled, beautifully textured, and the textures can be changed a bit to some, uh, some being quite interesting. But overall, just an amazing rifle. And with its basic stats, you will do 66 damage using the standard sort of energy cells, with a firing rate of 28, range of 251, accuracy of 179, and a weight of 7. Point six. Now you can see a handful of the modifications here, but that is just a portion of the overall list that you can have for this thing. So you can actually make some pretty unique guns, such as, for instance, this oddly painted monstrosity, which is fully automatic and actually explodes on contact, which is amazing. Or you could go full on into sniping with this dirty paint scheme, 106 damage dealing rifle, which is awesome. Uh, now, as for how you would go about modifying these, though, you're going to want to be a little bit picky because this is the only version of the gun in the game. You will only ever find one. I have three because, of course, I cheated and used console commands. Now, where you will find this gun is south of where we are in Sanctuary, and in fact, south of the Greater Mass Blood Clinic. There is a small little checkpoint right on that little bit of road there where this gun will be sitting on a desk and uh yeah you just go there pick it up and you have yourself a beautiful new sci-fi rifle that does mean you're not going to be able to find it in shops or on enemies so you got your one and only version of it to modify so let's go take a look at what modifications we do have available and they are pretty impressive now in the condenser which i guess would be your receiver category on most guns we only have two things either the original condenser that it comes with or a boosted condenser which will up the damage and also decrease the battery consumption so that you get a couple extra more shots. We then have the barrel category where we have the sniper barrel that it comes with, an automatic barrel to turn it into, of course, an automatic weapon, but of course lowering the damage or going to the improved sniper barrel upping the uh, battery consumption, so less shots, but also, of course, increasing damage. And then we moved on to the laser battery, which is more of an aesthetic thing. The battery that's on the back of the gun, you can either have it be red or blue. So a nice little aesthetic choice there. We then have these sights where we actually have a fairly impressive selection. Now it comes by default with the optical 4X, but you can put it to a reflex or go night vision all the way up to a 10X night vision or regular scope for your sniping needs. Now, we then have the damage modifier category, and you guys all know my opinion on this because we've seen it in a lot of mods. I personally think it's a little bit cheaty, but I completely understand why people like this because, well, you want to use your favorite weapon throughout longer periods in the game. So you do, of course, have the ability to go from no damage modifier all the way up to 100%. Now, I do wish this had some requirements here, so at the very least, you know, making it 100% damage cost you something, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Now, the next thing we have is quite interesting and something I actually haven't seen on other mods before. We can change the reticule in the scope. 
to one of a variety of other things. We can make it a cross, a dot, a duplex, a futuristic scope, mill dot, modern, original, rangefinder, or Russian. And that is up to you just what style of reticule in your scope you like. And I think this is actually a pretty cool option. I, I honestly haven't seen this before, and I quite enjoyed playing around with this. It's just an interesting little addition. Now the next thing is another one I'm torn on, but I can understand. Legendary modification, and I'm actually a lot more okay with this gun having it than a lot of other weapons having it, because this is the only version of this gun. You will never find a legendary version of it, so why not make it? Now it doesn't have every legendary modification in here, but we do have a bloody decrippling lucky weapon, penetrating rapid, staggering, vats enhanced, and wounding. Now again, like with the damage modifier, I wish it had some sort of requirement here to cost you, but I do actually think it is kind of an interesting addition for a unique gun like this. So you can add in those legendary mods. And then we have the futuristic material category, which I guess is just the material category, and by default, it's futuristic. We also have a broken glass, a dirty, hellfire, and of course you gotta have hemp on there too for reasons i don't know why but people include it and so there we go you do have a handful of paint schemes and finally we have modules and i love this because we can either take it from the original module just doing energy damage to a gamma emitting one also doing radiation damage and ionizing one which adds fire damage and who doesn't love that or my personal favorite Modulated emitting. Oh, 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 oh boy. Uh, 15 physical damage, 57 energy, but it explodes on contact, and that, oh yeah, is gorgeous. Who doesn't like exploding rounds, or, well, technically exploding lasers? It's just fun. And that is all the modifications for the Aquila rifle. So let's take a look at these being shot. So let's, of course, pull out the standard version here, and I'll be quiet for a moment as we empty one magazine, or, well, I guess, technically, battery. So as you can see, not the fastest shooting rifle, but, you know, it is useful, and I mean, it does come with a 4X scope, so kind of intended to be used at range, but overall a pretty decent weapon with some very, very good accuracy, and of course using the standard in-game animation there. Now we can of course go to the uh, I wounded overcharge version that I made here, which is taking advantage of the 100% increase giving me, you know, uh, 106 damage. And as you can see, I went with the ranged reticule, which is pretty fun on here, so we do have a change in the reticule, reticule there. And it's night vision, so of course when I fire... Well, the coloring goes a bit wonky because, of course, lasers plus night vision, eh, probably not the best thing. But overall, a good rifle, and as you can see, going with the overcharge did change the color on it to a white beam now, so you're looking more like the Institute. And then, of course, finally, we have the rapid overcharged automatic version, which has that beautiful exploding modification, and I love it. Watch the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love watching all of the things go boom? And, of course, I did switch up to a uh, hollow sight on this one, which uh, is nice to have on an exploding automatic weapon. Good times, don't you think, dog meat? Which means it is now time for us to test it on our poor test subjects over here. Let's actually go with the sniping version for Will, and then we'll change up to the exploding for Randy. And let's just take a single shot here. This probably should take out Will in one if I can steady it. Boom, there we go. He's disintegrated, and it's wonderful. All right, so switching back up to the explosive automatic, let's go take down Randy. And I'm thinking it probably shouldn't take all that many shots. Again, exploding. And hi, Randy. Bye, Randy. I don't know how many shots it took to kill him, but 
he kind of went that way. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I do love this weapon, and it's always great to see a new addition into the energy weapon category, as I do always feel that that's a little bit underserved in the vanilla game. But yes, that is the Aquila Laser Rifle mod. If you would like to check it out for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one